Hola, buenas tardes. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, aka the Planning Diva. And today I have an exciting video. I have a Happy Planner haul from their latest back to school release. You know I had to pick up some things from that release. There were so many good things that came out in that release. So I went ahead and picked a couple of things up. And I just want to share with, with you what I got, what I purchased, um, what I decided to go all out for this release. I also have some other goodies that I picked up at my, uh, at my Joann's in store that I thought I might as well just share with you in this mega massive happy planner haul. So excited. Got so many, so many new goodies. Just really motivated, really inspired. And I'm just happy. I'm a happy planner. <laughs> okay, so if you're interested in sticking around and seeing what I picked up in the latest release as well as what I picked up um, over the weekend, uh, what I found at Joann's, you know the drill, just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start off with these sticker books here. And I didn't purchase these from the newest release. I actually went to my local, um, I went to a Joann's that I have never been to before. It's not really local, it's about 40 minutes away. So yeah, I, I wouldn't really call that local, it's in another city. But I guess it's close enough that I wouldn't mind driving there at some point. Um, the only reason I went to that Joann's was because I was visiting my friend in that city and we stopped by the Joann's because she told me it was a really good Joann's and she was not lying. I picked up six sticker books from that Joann's and it was such a good Joann's. So, I found The Spoonful of Faith by Jenna Holiday in the big, um, big Happy Planner uh, layout and it was on clearance for $11. This is a sticker book that I have been just like, uh, I, I've just been lusting after. I totally missed this release when um, it first came out. I was I think barely getting into the happy planner at that time in my life and I just I didn't realize how quickly sticker books sold out and so I didn't really and I also just wasn't really following a lot of planners I wasn't really following you know I, I just wasn't up to date with releases and so I wouldn't realize that they were dropping releases you know until like months months after the fact and I also don't order online that much I try not to and so I only pick up sticker books in the store or at least I, I usually am I usually try to just pick up sticker books um, in the store so that was to say that I just never got around to getting the sticker book and then by the time like you know I fell in love with it from seeing other people use it I, it was just absolutely not on the shelves but I found this one at that Joann's and it was on clearance and uh, I, I'm just I picked it up I had to I was so happy I saw it and I'm just the artwork is stunning I love it I love how it has a little pink band on it so really excited for that one and I'm so happy that it's a big because I'm getting into using my big happy planners right now and so I'm really like just really looking for like the bigger the big sticker books so we have that one and then we also have Marabou Design by Brandy Brown and this one's in the mini and I got this one on clearance as well. I was so shocked and I've already used some stickers from these books. Um, but the artwork in here is stunning. I have the, some of the planners um, from Marabou Designs as well as I have one from The Spoonful of Faith. I just really love her style. It's so cute. It's so different from the Happy Planners uh, aesthetic. I mean, it, it's different, but it's also similar. And you can definitely tell 
that this artist has a particular style and it all is so cohesive and I love these so much and yeah I already you know went through this and used it and I'm just so happy interestingly that Joann's had like a couple of these books on clearance but the only had one of this spoonful of faith so it seems like the spoonful of faith was a little bit more popular and then I picked up Sage. This was one that when it first released, I wasn't really into um, because I guess I don't really gravitate towards greens and blues as much as I gravitate towards like pinks, reds, yellows, oranges. And um, but then I kept on seeing people use it and I just really liked how it looked and I, then I just figured like might as well just pick it up and play around with it. I love how there's so many boxes in here and it's just really calming and really soft and I just like how we really went all out with this color theme. Um, so I guess this is kind of like their second release of like a color release. The first one was the Indigo and honestly I'm not into blues very much and so I just totally was not attracted to that sticker book at all or that entire like line because he came out with planners in that line as well and I just was not into it. I was also not into the Disney Mickey Mouse um, Indigo collection. Like they came out with some Mickey Mouse stuff that was completely in shades of blue and I totally skipped that one. That was the only Mickey Mouse collection that I have skipped completely because I'm just not into blues. And then I found this. This is the Alice in Wonderland sticker book. You won't believe it. I was shocked to see it. I have not seen this, st this sticker book in stores at all. And so when I saw it there and they had a couple of copies of it, I was so shocked and I grabbed it immediately. It's so gorgeous. It's so pretty. Um, I like Alice in Wonderland. I wouldn't say she's like my favorite quote-unquote princess. I don't know if she counts as a princess, but um, yeah, I wouldn't say like the story is my absolute favorite, but I I do like it. Um, I do like um, Alice in Wonderland and I just, I think I like the story more so than um, I like like the like the uh, what's it called so like um, the movie like I just like the story of it um, I think it's it's really trippy you know like and I do enjoy like Lewis Carroll's writings um, so I like his poetry a lot so yeah there's that uh, this page fell out but the boxes are great and it's just the artwork is stunning and yeah, I was just so excited to like see this in stores and just flipping through it. It's beautiful. I'm gonna have so much fun with this sticker book. So I got this one. And then I also got this one. This is Floral, Mickey, and Minnie. And this was a collection that I did not pick up when it first came out. I really wanted it, but I told myself to wait on it. And I'm really glad I did because I got it on clearance and I actually picked up the mini one as well in my um, in my order. I picked up some things that were not from the new release when I ordered all the stuff from the new release. And I picked this one up in store. This one was um, the big one. And again, I'm using my big planner a lot. So I'm really on the hunt for big sticker books or sticker books that are meant for the, for the big um, happy planner. This is my all time favorite design here with the daisies and like the green silhouettes of Mickey. Like, oh, this is absolutely stunning. I have two bookmarks in that design. It's probably my absolute, like my most favorite design in this floral um, sticker book. And I like the, the different like color stories that they went with that particular design. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. I will buy anything with Mickey and Minnie as long as it's not just pure blue. <laughs> that's the that's where I draw my line. That indigo collection with Mickey and Minnie, it just was not my style. I'm like blue is my least favorite color. 
I don't really gravitate towards it. I don't use that color a lot. Um, just it doesn't really resonate with me. So, and then I found this one. This is the farmhouse big sticker book again. Just love. Um, been loving the the big sticker books and again like it took me a while to pick this one up this one came out recently but you know not too recently and I just told myself to wait on it until you know I just wanted to give myself like some waiting time I don't want to like pick everything up right when it drops um, all the time so I waited on this one a little bit and I, you know it was there and I was like might as well just grab it um, I've been wanting this one for a while and so oh, wow it's we're missing a chunk right here. I'm glad I didn't take out the whole sticker. I just love the soft colors and it's just like a modern Mickey and Minnie and um, yeah, I just really like it. I love the whole like farmhouse aesthetic. I wouldn't say this is like absolutely farmhouse to me. Like the color palette is definitely like muted and a little bit more like soft and neutral but i wouldn't like say that this is farmhouse i don't know mm, is it just me i guess i can see the farmhouse in it but i like my first thought wouldn't be to call that theme like farmhouse and then i picked up a couple of sticker books um from the new release i also picked up two that weren't from the new release they were on sale actually on the site they were their um older sticker books but since I was shopping on the Happy Planner, and I try not to shop online too much, like the, the vast majority of my purchases comes from Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Like I like going into stores and picking up the product just because I don't like um, paying for shipping. And actually like the shipping and transporting and packing industry is actually one of the most like wasteful industries that exists that they use a lot of um they produce a lot of like plastic waste and just waste in general and so in my own small way i guess i try to like avoid that but let's start off with the sticker books that i got from the new release which are these four let's set the other two to the side for now so let's start with the disney ones I picked up three Disney ones. I picked up two of the Whimsy Teacher um, sticker books and I picked up both because I loved this so much. And again, I, this one's in big and this one's in the classic size. And I figured that I, you know, could use both because I'm using the big and the classic right now. So let's just flip them open side by side gorgeous absolutely love this sticker book Ugh, and it's um teacher themed which actually i don't mind at all because i am a teacher i guess i'm a professor which you know same same you know we both teach students so i feel like these sticker books are a little bit more geared towards um like k through 12 education but whatever i can still i can still get on this train and um oh look at this so beautiful oh, i love this color palette so much this is probably my sec no honestly no i was gonna say this is probably my second favorite after the florals but then I remembered that the Disney Oasis line exists and I would have to say that, oh wow, I don't know. This, this might even beat Disney Oasis. I can't decide. I cannot decide which one I like more. Like this pastel-y um, color palette or the Disney Oasis or the floral. Oh, they're all so good. What I really liked about these sticker books is that they remind me a lot of the um, the color block Mickey Mouse collection. Do y'all remember that? I think they only released, no, 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 they released a sticker book, but they did release, um, I think, um, a planner or at least like a, a wellness journaling uh, notebook. I know because I do have, no, they did release, uh, they released a dashboard 
color block Mickey Mouse planner and they also released a wellness journaling uh, planner or just journal notebook thing because I have both of those. I don't know if they released anything else from that collection. I think they also released an accessory pack or an extension pack but it had this exact same color palette I feel. Um, these like beautiful um, pastel -y colors. I don't, I wouldn't say they're like, um, classic pastels. I feel like they're a little bit brighter than pastels, but they're definitely not as bright as, you know, like primary colors. I think they're just a little bit more muted than that, which I love because I am definitely more of a pastel lover than I am, um, a primary color lover. I just like soft color stories a lot. Ah, so gorgeous. I think everything is so cute. And um, yeah, I can definitely use these teacher sticker books. And yes, I am. I am living for them. Oh, take It's kind of bent here. Oops. Let's try to get this to close. So I got these two sticker books, the Whimsy Teacher Mickey Mouse sticker books. I'm gonna have so much fun with these. And then I got um, the Villains sticker book. And this one was the big size. And I'm still on the fence about getting those larger sticker books um, from the Whimsy, uh, Mickey, and the Villains collection. They're like the, the chunkier ones. I'm not sure though. Um, it's just that I really like like functional stickers like boxes and checklists. And those are just pure decoration, pure decorative. Love this. I love the villains. They're just so much fun. I was using the villains um, this week in my planner, and um, yeah, I just I love them. Oh, these stickers are amazing, and I love how this is for a big planner because I'm loving my uh, my big planner right now. Maleficent looks awesome. I just love like how the there's like watercolor um, motifs throughout the um, stickers. Love Ursula. She's one of my favorites. <gasps> Cruella. She's looking gorgeous. There's something about villains that they're just. Sometimes I like like them more than um, the heroes. Oh, by the way, ha do y'all watch Once Upon a Time? It's a um, it's a TV show. It, it was. It came out like a while ago. It's. I think it's done. Like I'm pretty sure it's done. Like the we finished like you know, filming that show and they wrapped it up. But once upon a time, it's like a fairy tales, but like, uh, in real life, like it's a real life fairy tale story. Like it's like a modern fairy tale story, and they like, um, combine like tons of like Disney and fairy tale characters together into this like modern retelling of like fairy tales and it's so 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 good and I think we have seven seasons and me and my boyfriend like watch it together it's like the show that we're watching right now together we're on the fourth season I believe and yeah, they just have like all the characters. Like they have Snow White, Prince Charming, Captain Hook, um, Rumpelstiltskin, the Evil Queen, Maleficent, Cruella, Ursula, and they're all like real life people. But they're um, but they're like they're playing the you know the Disney or fairy tale characters. It's such a good show. I love it so much. So we have the villains, and then the last book I picked up from the new release was the big sticker book for um modern bookish and y'all do you remember that video i made like a couple weeks ago um talking about like the sticker books i wish existed and i said that i would love to see like a sophisticated bookish that wasn't so bright so this was exactly what i was thinking about i am so so happy with this 
this is just like everything that makes me happy in a sticker. This one with the little latte art and the book. This is so, so stunning and beautiful. And this is going straight into my book bag with my book um, journal, my reading planner. Um, a couple of these I probably will take out and put into like, um, like I don't know, just take them out because I don't think I'll use them for my reading journal like this one right here. I, I could take out some of these sticker book, uh, sticker sheets and transfer them to like another sticker book or something. But, um, but a lot of these, you know, I can just put into my uh, reading journal. Oh, it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Love it. So much functional um, stickers here. Beautiful clear quotes. And yes, this makes my bookworm heart super, super happy. So excited for this one. And then the last two sticker books I picked up are not from the new release. They're at, they were actually on clearance on the site because they're older ones. So I picked up the Rong Rong Fitness sticker book. This is what the one that um, I've been like I've always kind of seen and um, I always I've always wanted it. And so I saw it was on sale on the site, and so I just had to pick it up. Look at this, the Rong Rong Fitness Planner was the first happy planner I ever got. So this is definitely like making me really happy and feeling nostalgic. These are all stickers, or these stickers are all um, the dividers in that um, in that planner. Like these are all uh, dividers in that planner. And I still have those dividers. I, I still use them actually. Workout box stickers. Oh, this is stunning. This is probably the best um fitness sticker book that they've come out with oh i love all like the the dolls you know and their workout clothes and i've been really good with my workout um routines for the last couple of weeks so i felt like i deserved this and this is just gonna motivate me even more to continue to work out and be healthy really happy that they have some hydrate stickers in here because I've been loving hydration trackers. Look at these. These are amazing. I love these like girl squad stickers. Oh, I kind of want to pick up another one of these because I'm, I know I'm going to like use up so many of these like in no time. And then the last sticker book I picked up was the floral mickey and mini sticker book and this one is in the mini so i just showed you the one that i picked up in stores that one was the big uh version of this but i this one was on sale on the site and i've been wanting to pick up um mini stickers uh for my desk pad and also um, for when I want to use a mini happy planner and also I just like the the smaller size I can really fit these stickers into like little spaces and um, They're just so cute. I love this uh, the, the floral Mickey and Minnie a lot and so I thought it was on sale and I figured I could just pick it up um, while I was shopping on this site Really really cute. I love how many boxes there are Tons of functional stuff, lots of decor, and I felt like it was perfect for spring. We're like right in the middle of spring right now, so definitely feeling my oats with this one. And actually, my boyfriend, he's so sweet. He bought me the um, another Be Happy box. So the Disney... Um, floral like the floral disney mickey mouse floral be happy box that came out a while ago it's actually on clearance now on their site so if you're interested in that box um it's on clearance right now for about like 30 something dollars and um yeah my boyfriend bought it for me for my birthday and so he sent it to me and so now I have a bunch of accessories from that whole line. And so I was kind of like, kind of wanted to grab the sticker books to help me like, you know, have the whole set. 
Okay, and then now we're gonna get into new release stuff. So I'm gonna open all of this stuff right now with you on camera. I have my stickers here. So I picked up this notepad. This is a block pad and let's see, let me pull it off this. I'm gonna try to get rid of all this packaging. Oh, I love block pads. They are just so much fun and I like using them um, quite a bit. Uh, I, right now I, I have my Disney Oasis desk pad that I use a lot and they're just really great tools. They're great to just kind of like, I love using these for um, those weeks where I have a lot going on and I always want to have like on my desk, you know, my like all my meetings mapped out. It really helps me just to like have everything in one centralized space and have it on my desk because sometimes um, I'll, I won't have my computer out and on and I kind of want to like check my calendar to see like you know what's going on and I just don't want to grab my computer sometimes sometimes I just want to like flip to like somewhere to a page and see what's going on and so that's when my desk pad comes in handy and this one is so cute I love the border and I love Mickey and Minnie here I like the different um, days kind of laid out in this horizontal uh, format and this huge grid section for notes. This is very different from the Oasis desk pad, so it's going to be fun to try something new. So I picked up the desk pad and then I picked up this um, Happy Notes um, notebook in a big style. This is from the Mickey and Minnie floral collection. Like all of that collection is on clearance right now. And I, so I picked this one up for about $11, I wanna say. It was about $11. And oh, this thing is gorgeous. So let me pull this stuff off. Yeah, I just adore this cover. This cover is gorgeous. As I've said, this design with the daisies and the green Mickey and Minnie silhouettes is my absolute favorite. It's one of my all-time favorite designs of the Happy like the Happy Planner is released. And so I, I saw this and I was so excited that it was on clearance. So I picked it up. It says today is magic. The rings are this beautiful like pistachio green. And we have these beautiful dividers. Um, it's a dotted line, which I can always use dotted line paper. We have Mickey and Minnie in this little silhouette there in the corner. This divider is stunning. The dividers, oh, they're just stunning. And it has three um, dividers. And we have this one, that's the last one. And that's it, so there we go. And on the back, we just have uh, the same design. Let me pull this up. I, I really want to switch my big happy planner into like into this cover. I might do that. This thing is gorgeous. Love it. Okay, this is something from the new release. Um, I, I picked up mostly stuff from the new release, but here and there I picked up stuff that was just on sale like that planner or that notebook I just showed you. So this is um, from the Villains release and it's a vertical planner. It's a 12 month planner and I got this because this cover is absolutely divine. Like I had to get this planner because it just was so gorgeous and this is um, a vertical. Ugh. It's just stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And let me just take that piece off there. It's so beautiful. We have like the watercolor accents and all of the font is in that kind of like creepy font. Um, we have the overviews, nice large space here with just dot grid, sections for priorities and goals and important dates. We have Mufasa with a, a nice little cheeky quote there. And we have his colors just sprinkled throughout the, um, the planner. Then we have the Evil Queen. 
Ursula, Hades, Cruella, Scar, Maleficent, Ursula, Hades, and honestly y'all, I don't I didn't think I would ever say it, but I am feeling this blue. This blue is just, I don't know whether it's because it has like the teal accents or what, but for some reason I am like, I do like that blue. I never thought I would say that. The Evil Queen. I just love how, um, how unashamedly, or how unapologetic these villains are. I've always been someone who's loved the villains so just I had to pick up something from um, like a planner from the villains collection I don't have any villain planners um, from like previous collections I always wanted them but there was just something a little bit like off um, with the villain planners that they came out with last year I just didn't love them as much as I've loved this like newer collection and this this cover is stunning so I picked up this big happy planner my goodness they have they packaged everything really really nicely um it's just all bubble wrapped and it just yeah really nicely packaged and by the way I got my shipment today it's friday today's friday and i placed my order right when the collection dropped um which was i think was it wednesday or tuesday i don't remember if it was tuesday or wednesday but either way like i placed it on tuesday or wednesday and i got the stuff friday so yeah i think that's the perks of living in southern california I am just next door to the Happy Planner. So I picked up this planner. This is my first teacher planner ever and it says teaching is my superpower. And again, like I technically I am a teacher. So I felt like it'd be fun to um to pick up a teacher planner and like pick up some back to school stuff. So look at this, school starts, recess, lunch. Oh my God, that's so cute. Notes for the substitute, reliable teachers, reliable students. That's so interesting. Um, like I said, this is very much, I think, geared towards K through 12, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even, I don't even know if um, university professors have substitutes. I. Yeah, I've never had like a professor in college um, get a substitute teacher. They just cancel class. <laughs> I guess that's the perk of being a, a university prof. But um, wow, this is such an interesting format. I've always seen it, but I've never like, I've never like seen it up close. It's so interesting. That's so crazy that the the days are in rows. That's so interesting. This is gonna be really cool to try out. And I don't necessarily have to use this for teaching. Um, so yeah, I, I can use it for whatever. I just love all the teaching motifs though. Like Mickey with holding his pencil, Mickey and the globe. Um, let's see, teaching is my superpower. Oh, in this classroom we stick together. Oh, this one's so cute. Be a highlight in someone's life. Mini with the paper clips. School is cool. I love it. I love it so much. I think this is so cute and like I really like it because I've always been someone who enjoys school. I mean, obviously I went through how many years of it? Let's see, 23 years of school. Um, oh, a checklist. What? There's a checklist section. That's so cool. It's so interesting. Oh my god, I wonder what I can do with these. But yeah, I was saying that I think I've gone through like 23 years of education at this point in my life and um, my dream was always to become a professor and that it's amazing to me that like I've been able to achieve that and when I was little you guys I would like 
makeup quizzes and I would like pretend to play that I was a teacher and I had students and I had a classroom and all throughout like you know when I was young up to when I was in high school I would just like read textbooks and like for fun I would like do all the quizzes in the textbooks and answer all of, like the review questions and the study guide questions and the textbooks um all for fun like not for any homework or anything I just did it for fun just because I I I was so happy like learning and like this whole like the world of education to me was so like romantic and so much fun and and so yeah, I, I'm just like, I've always been someone who like wanted to be a teacher. And then when I went to college and I discovered graduate school and I realized I could become a professor and now like I am a professor, um, it's just, it's just wild to me. And so, and it's funny to me because I never really thought about picking up teacher stuff from the Happy Planner, I guess cause I always, I, I, I always have felt like it's very much like geared towards um, K through 12. But you know what? Like, I think I can also rock it, right? And yeah, I'm just really happy I picked up this teacher planner. Like, I think it's gonna really motivate me and just, I feel like I'm at the very, like, start of my journey as a professor. And so I'm excited to just, like, keep on this journey and, um, and just enjoy being a teacher. Okay, we just have three more things, y'all. This is probably such a long video. <laughs> hope enjoyed sticking with me but look at this beauty right here oh this one this was the reason why I decided to uh, pick up stuff from this release because this is probably in my top like top five happy planner covers that they have ever released the light pink y'all know this is the color of my soul and then all of these like cute little teaching icons is gorgeous and a mini at the front looking so cute teaching is an adventure it definitely is oh my goodness and so let's pull that out so this is a a notebook um it's dotted lined um really amazing quality paper um like really cute folders or dividers this one is probably one of my favorite dividers with mickey's little hand and the and the pencil it's just it really speaks to me and that's it we have the dividers um pretty plain inside cover and we have this gorgeous design on the back as well with mini there and we have um, the rings in this like light purple, which is gorgeous. One of my all time favorite covers ever. I am gonna put this on my big happy planner at some point in this year. You're gonna see this planner on my big happy planner. It is amazing. And I am so glad they put this into a, or they had this cover on a notebook and not on a planner because the notebooks are cheaper than the planners. And I knew that I was going to have to buy this no matter what it was on. So I'm glad that, you know, I could just grab a notebook and it's a bit cheaper than buying a whole planner because I already have so many planners. And then we have the last planner that I picked up. I had to pick up the modern bookish planner that um, kind of goes with that sticker book. I had to. This thing is stunning. This is going to be probably, um, it's probably going to switch off with my classic um, planner right now for my reading journal. I don't want to have two reading journals, but I'm going to have to switch off with this one at some point because this is so stunning. Look at that! Look at that book! Oh, that, that This is a first. I feel like the Happy Planner doesn't really do like photography on its inside covers so that is that's really that's really cool and then we have this gorgeous uh, photograph here in the front and again this is a teacher planner and so we have like uh, a couple of like teacher notes teacher specific stuff in it which I don't mind um, 
and the overview pages um, are really similar to what we've seen before with that dot grid here, the sections on the side, stunning. I love when they use photography um, for their dividers, really neutral uh, monthly. And then we have the teacher layout. And honestly, this isn't my favorite for um, for like a reading journal. I like using a plain horizontal. So I don't know. I feel like the 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 structure of it is almost horizontal because you could just kind of treat these as rows. But I honestly, what I honestly might do is just kind of replace these um, pages with like lined notebook paper or horizontal um, pages from a big horizontal planner and just keep the dividers and make this a reading journal. I love this. I love when they have like tea or coffee um, as uh, like in the photographs. It's so amazing. But look at this. Ugh. That is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I'm such a big bookworm, and so this speaks to my heart. I love reading so much. I love this tea here. Um, right now, I have a goal of reading 35 books um, this year, which is five more than my goal last year, which I actually was able to complete. I read 30 books last year, and this year, my goal is... Um, 35 books and so far I think I've read f uh, 13 books or something like that and again we have those checklists in the back which are really interesting I don't know what I would use these for I feel like they're very much like for grades like I can see um these being used for grades but I honestly um like the online grade center that we use is like perfectly fine and I don't, I don't need to use like something like this for grades i'll have to brainstorm about what i can use these for i think they're great as like trackers uh, again that photograph on the back let's pull this off ah, the, the blue dots have been coming off pretty nicely so i'm happy about that so oh so happy to have this Okay, the last thing that we have going on here is this planner accessory pack that I got um, from the Whimsy Wonders Mickey Mouse collection. So let's get rid of all this. <gasps> the sticky notes, adorable. This is just so cute. Oh my god, the, with the hand. I don't know why I love this so much with like Mickey like writing and the little sheet of paper there. It's just so cute. And this one's adorable too. This bookmark is so, so cute. Oh, I love him. I love Mickey just like leaning on the globe really really cute and it looks like this bookmark has that like protective sheet of plastic which i i wish they didn't have these things like it's so annoying to pull up and off the bookmark and i always feel like uh, like some of it sticks to like the edges especially around the the hole punches um, but there we go. So we have the bookmark really really cute and then we have uh, a Sticker sheet and then this folder Which is that same cute design. This is my old-time favorite design right here Teachers keep it all together. We have stickers a bookmark and then we have a bunch of classic sized dot line paper with the same cute motif there this is similar to um, to this paper, but this one's in big size, and it looks like they've changed up the little um, the little motif there. So pretty similar, but I just had to pick this one up for the folder and the bookmark and the sticky notes. I don't need any more stickers from this collection, but it's nice that it came with a little sheet and. Um, 
of course filler paper I can always use filler paper so so high quality love it so I have that accessory pack that I picked up and the last thing that they sent me was this freebie sticker from the Jungle Vibes collection. I have a few of these now. Um, I think they've placed like maybe three or four orders from the Happy Planner website. And they have always come with this sticker. <laughs> so I'm kind of tired of this sticker. I hope, I wish they would change this up, but. And that is it, that is it. That is my massive Happy Planner haul. I hope you enjoyed um, flipping through all those sticker books with me. And I'm just, <laughs> I ordered so many goodies and just oh, so excited, so excited. Um, yeah, I just, stickers, planners, notebooks, stationery. It just makes me so happy. It's so motivating. And I really credit the Happy Planner for like helping me get my whole life together so it's worth the money for me um you know some people buy shoes some people buy cars some people buy i don't know expensive vacations to hawaii all wonderful things i like to spend my money on planners and planner supplies so i am so looking forward to getting into all of these goodies and just having an absolute blast so if you picked up anything from this newest collection from the Happy Planner, let your girl know what you picked up in the comments down below. I would love to know like what you picked up and if you had picked up any of the things that I did or if you picked up any of the things that I did not pick up, I would love to know. Um... All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. That was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing all that stuff and I hope you lived vicariously <laughs> through my haul. But I hope you are doing wonderfully out there wherever you are and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.